So you have yourself a nice fancy resin printer, and you need to get it leveled whether it's the first time or maybe you uh, were removing a print and hit it a little bit too hard and uh, knocked that, uh, that build plate out of alignment. And now you need to get it leveled. Well, let's just take a look at how to do that properly in today's episode. Hey there, I'm Jester from Jester's 3D Tabletop Gaming and today we're looking at leveling your build plate for your resin printer. So when I first got my Photon S, I didn't realize that the printer itself needed to be level. I just, it didn't even occur to me. I had my, uh, my build plate leveled perfectly and I was seeing some errors and, and yeah, essentially you're going to want to get it leveled. Unfortunately, it doesn't have uh, feet that you can level very easily, so I've had to come up with a little... Uh, little rig in my main printing room to, to get it nice and level uh, but today we're pretty much just gonna just gonna show you you want to level it going this way and this way and it's not a bad idea to go from side to side from back to front once your printer is leveled then we can work on the actual leveling of the build plate itself let's just turn this sucker on it's weird not having this in my print room just open up the flippy flap Open up the flippy flap, the flippity flappity. All right, so then we're gonna get a piece of paper and we're just gonna cut it to size. So about right here, and we're just gonna cut ourselves a nice sheet of paper. Ta-da, we've done it. By George, we've done it. We've cut out paper. And that looks perfect. So we don't need these anymore. We don't need scissors. So now I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer and let's take a look at how to properly level the Photon S. So we're already turned on. We're gonna wanna go into tools. We're gonna go, wanna go to move Z. And then we're gonna wanna go home. And it's just gonna travel on down, zip it to zoom, all the way to the bottom. By George, we're almost there. We're almost into the home position. I'm actually gonna cut my little piece of paper a little bit shorter, just so it doesn't block what you guys can see. So now we're gonna make sure that our little nut right here is nice and loose so that our build plate has full mobility. Okay, so let's just get that back there. We wanna select 0.1 mil and we wanna go down in increments. Step by step, because if we bring this too far down, we can actually destroy our screen, and nobody wants to do that. One step down here. And you want to make sure not to double tap the button. All right, so now we're starting to get to that point. Okay, paper can still move and still wiggle. Okay, we can still pull it out. We're going to go down one more. We still have a little bit of wiggle. Down another notch here. Okay. And we want to get it so that it is fairly tight. I still have quite a bit of wiggle room because at first we want to make sure that we get the build plate nice and actually, you know what? That might be pretty good right there. I'm gonna try and go down one more time. Okay, I'd say we are pretty good. So now I'm going to hold this, get it nice and flat, and we are just going to super tighten this. And we wanna make sure that we're nice and level along this line here. Get her nice and tight. Should only have to do this once and then you can be nice and level for a long time. All right, so I'd say we're pretty tight at that point. Let's just give it, let's just give it one more little snug little tightening. Okay, I'd say we're good. So now we're gonna go back up. We're gonna go up, yeah, one mil at a time. Okay, so now this portion should be nice and level. We don't want it that tight up against the screen, we just wanted to get that part nice and tight. So we're gonna slide this back under, and we 
We're gonna go down in increments of 0.1. You wanna make sure you don't accidentally select the wrong, <laughs> wrong distance to travel down, cause that could be bad. So we're gonna go down, down. I can see from here that we're still good. You can start kind of feeling around, getting a, getting a feel for it. Starting to feel a little bit of resistance. We essentially want to be able to pull the paper out, but not push it back in. So right there, I can still push the paper in. We can go down another step. I can pull it out. And you know what, I can push it in still. So we're gonna go down one more. I can still pull it out. And I can still push it in, but it it's tricky. And just like that, I'd say that we are nice and level. See if I can get a better shot of that, see? She doesn't want to push in, or at least it's very tough to, but I can still pull it out. So now what we do, actually I still have a little wiggle room going back. Let's try one more. Pull it out. Yeah, that's, that's my magic position right there. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna go back and we're gonna go Z equal to zero. Setting Z equal to zero, we want to enter. Settings okay. So from there, we should be good to go. We should be able to put in our vat of resin and get it up and rolling again and be nice and level and hopefully have some fan tastic prints. So we're just gonna turn her off. So there you have it. That's how to level the Anycubic Photon S. Uh, this printer has been absolutely fantastic leveling with that method. Uh, it had probably been several months before I had to re-level it myself, and the only reason I did was because I had filled the vat up too full with resin, and it managed to get into, into the ball joint one too many times, and it, yeah, kind of managed to finally become unlevel. So, it was a good opportunity for me to dive in and uh, create this little video for you. I hope this managed to help you level your uh, print bed. I absolutely love this printer. I have printed some absolutely fantastic models. Oh my goodness, there's so many delightful minis out there and so many fantastic Patreon. All right, I'm gonna go and print some stuff. I'm Jester, I had a good time. I hope you had a good time. Until the next time, Bye bye now. Oh, oh, but wait, as per usual, more videos to the sides of the screen. You should click them. Don't wait, act now.